Okay, I'm testing now two mics. So I was having a problem with the uh, Rode XLR. So I think I got it working again, but it, it's it's touchy. So something's going on. Um, I had to turn it off, turn it back on twice. I have to push some buttons to get it working. And uh, I had to turn up the volume too. So something's going on with this since I got this last update from uh, Apple. So I hope my voice uh, sounds better. Um, I'm trying to look straight into the camera instead of keep looking up, see if it's working. It's bothersome. So let's go to another uh, mic. I'm also testing the sound quality. If you hear the clicking and stuff in the mouse, I don't like that. So let me go to uh, that was the external mic, by the way. Okay. Um, I don't want to use the studio display because of this nonsense right here. It's a deep boom sound to it. And um, I could turn down the volume, and I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll show you what I do on the options. Go to live demo mode. Now you see everything that I'm watching. I go to the desktop. Go down to uh, sound settings. Go to the input. On, uh, see, that's the external mic. So let's go to the streamer X. It looks the same. Okay. So usually if you just do this part, It'll do it automatically. Studio display. All right. So let's just lower it to the number one setting. Okay. So how do I sound? This is studio display. This is Streamer X. It's quite a difference. And then, of course, I'll go down to uh, external mic. So uh, you know, you hear a little hesitation when I switch between them, but you can now tell the difference. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to load up my Rode wireless mic, go to uh, the external mic, see how it goes. And then uh, what I'll do is then I'll hook up my lavalier to it. And then that way you get to see five different mics to see how they sound. So I'll be right back. Okay, uh, so with the um, Rode Wireless Go mic, all right, it sounds great. Never had a problem. The only problem is if you're driving around and let's say a radio station is broadcasting like it did when I was driving downtown car vlogging, uh, I was getting the top 100 down or countdown. I haven't heard that in a long time, but it was intercepted in my video. And uh, I said, you know what? I don't want to get a copyright strike or anything like that. So what I learned was then I got me a, a Rode uh, lavalier mic. Okay. There's one thing you should not do and you can see it right here and I got this mic here wireless go uh, mic that the the problem with this one the uh, little sound muffler dead cat or whatever you want to call it rabbit's foot keeps falling off it doesn't stay on that's the only thing I see wrong with it but uh, with the uh, lavalier mic it's wired. Don't put it in the wash and the dryer. It's clean, but it hasn't been sounding great after I did that. So I haven't used this in over a month. I'm going to hook it up into my uh, Go mic because it should be on the external mic. Yeah. And then we'll see how the sound quality is different. Okay. This is now the Rode lavalier 
So that's a different option is where I can go around. This device stays by the computer and I can walk around and you can also hear me with the lavalier mic. So I'm going to go right here to the uh, CVE-10, which is a wider view. I'm also going to do this number. Okay, so you can see it's in the cave again. And you can see the uh, thing. But I'm just going to step back. So I can walk around, you know, not face. And I'm just using the lavalier mic. Okay, that's all I'm doing. So I'm using the lavalier mic. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I'm unplugging it. And now I'm on the wireless go mic. So how does my voice sound? Is it better? Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So now you know that walking away this might be a better option, but uh, I tried just plugging with the lavalier and you're limited to where you can move. But I found out that if you do it this way, everything works. So let me plug this back into uh, the external mic and we'll do a test on that too. So I'm back on the external mic, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. The only problem with this, and I think the shadow is from there, it's not from here. Uh, the only problem with this is uh, less mobile. So if I get up and walk away, you can now sound, now I do sound a little bit different, okay? I'm far away. I can walk around. I did have this mic in the sensor on this table, and it worked fine. It was even from when I was showing something on the showcase and I'm testing out the mic all right showing on the showcase or if I was sitting at the uh, desk okay so it was the same amount of volume you didn't really see the difference that's what this plugged in now the reason why I've been pausing this video uh, and I can do the same thing with these tests too. Uh, display, I think it's just too deep, deep, you know. You, you can hear me now and you hear kind of like a boom. But if I walk away, this is the other sound test, okay? So I'm a little bit quieter. I can do the same thing with my uh, LG, uh, uh, ultra fine 5k monitor all right so they got a mic too and i've used that also but it i think it sounds better either with an xlr or even with the external mic or even the road wireless the only problem with this is like i said the little muffler uh falls off and then this has been in the wash so after this video we'll find out which one i'm going to pick and if you want to write down in the comments which one you like best, please do, okay? Because uh, this is an ongoing problem. I went XLR, but it, it's just too many things that I have to do to get the sound working. It's much easier just to use a shotgun mic or uh, a studio display, but that's a boomer. So... This is the alternative. So let's go to, uh, oh, by the way, uh, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three on the studio display. I'm going to walk over here. Can you still hear my voice? Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Now we're going to go to uh, this bad boy right here, Streamer X. So this is the Rode uh, XLR mic, not the podcast, okay? So how does my voice sound? Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Let me get up, walk around. How do I sound? 
Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. The mic is facing down. It's not pointing to me. That's the only other option. Um, so you can see it. I don't know if I sound better if I do it like this or if it makes a difference over here. If I got the software, I can probably do the surround sound, directional, whatever. But I like an easy setup, and I have to worry about hitting my head on this thing too. So let's go back to uh, your shotgun mic, which is the external one. And now I'm going to pause this video because every time I unplug and plug something in, either the Apple uh, sound or music comes up or uh, my internet browser starts playing, Tom Buck. Uh, I like watching Tom, or Tom Buck because he does a lot of things with uh, microphones and stuff. He's always testing it out. Uh, he's an ex-school teacher, fantastic uh, communicator. He puts in a lot of puns. He's funny. His wife is wonderful, Heather. And uh, if you want to watch their uh, live streams, uh, they're on usually every Friday afternoon. So anyway, shout out to them. So let's try this. Okay. The, the only other problem is with this thing is um, when I unplug and plug in the microphones my Apple music comes up or the uh, browser on my internet comes up so I don't know what's going on but it might be a glitch it hasn't come on the last few times but I want to be careful so I'm getting up I'm doing a test where I'm just walking around the house to see if you lose the signal. So this is in the front bedroom right here. And there's a wall between me and the office. Now I'm walking to uh, the master bedroom through the hall. And this is all the test to see if this mic gets intercepted by... Uh, you know, radio stations or someone else communicating. So I'm in the mass bedroom closet. There's about two or three walls in between. Going to the end of my master bedroom by the windows. Hi, cat. Yeah, he just woke up. He's probably hungry. Going into uh, the kitchen area, I'm going to go outside. I'm walking out. Doing. I'm going to plug in the air mic, and we're going to test the sound in here. So I'm outside in the backyard. I'm just testing to see maybe this is the most viable option. Come on. Of uh, testing out mics. You know, this way I'm on the go, and everybody tells me, yeah, get get one of those mics. You just have to charge them up. And I hate doing that. But anyway, back here, the lavalier is on. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So, I got the Rode Wireless Go 2 mics with two different mics. So I got that too. But uh, anyhow, this is what I'm doing. This is the test. Hopefully uh, this was informative. Hope this was helpful too. So this is the lavalier. Remember, I put this in the wash. So if it's crackling and stuff, well, you better get another $80 one or that. So I've been using this quite a bit on cameras. The only problem is when you go over a bump, you hear these big thuds, okay? So uh, this may not be practical. Uh, also, if your lens is hitting at the front windshield, you'll hear a thud, and that's annoying too, so the microphone will pick it up. 
either built in or through the Rode Wireless Go or Lavalier mic. Okay, Rode Wireless Go. I don't know it. Sometimes it does, but mainly it's pretty good. But I got a little put off when it was intercepted by that radio station. So let's end this with the uh, ceremonic. Okay, sorry for the deep thuds. I forgot to unplug this. No, I did unplug it. Okay. <laughs> and I know this is long-winded, but uh, you can see the process I go through. Studio display. It, it's too rich for me. Too deep. You can see everything on the mic. If I go back to uh, options, turn that off. Now you just see the camera or the full screen. And then I can also go to the Streamer X, where you can see me better. So I think the camera um, here is the best position I've had because I was reaching too far out over here. So I moved it back a little bit, but I have a shadow problem. So I moved this mic to over here, but what that caused is, you know, less shadow. Now, if I click the mouse, you can hear it. Okay. That's the only other thing. And uh, so that's the studio display. And then the Streamer X. So this is the one I've been using. But now since I've done some extra things of walking around, I might just go with the Rode Wireless Go mic. And I do have the Wireless 2 Go mics, but I think I'll use that for uh, on trips. And I'll use this just for the uh, studio walking around. The only other problem with this, folks, and I know you got to do testing on everything. Sometimes I forget to turn one on and then have to redo a shoot. The other thing is you got to make sure they're fully um, charged. And... On some um, shows that I'm on, they last for five hours. So you got to make sure that this lasts for five hours too. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, remember, stay safe. Keep smiling until next time. I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day. And finish.